uh, in the last tutorial we have seen about the quick glance of MS Word application right now we are going to see uh, a life uh, with all the different options that we will be uh, that are available in the life okay let's go and connect to the MS Office so Word so you can see so this is the document area and uh, we have seen right so if you open this so you can see so the different options that were discussed in the last tutorial so now I have just opened uh, the tutorial, I mean the word document so starting here this is the title bar so where you can see the title name of the document that is document one and these are the shortcuts and uh, here you can see the windows uh, uh, or microsoft office button so with this once you uh, click on this you can see uh, several sub options like new open save to save the document save as in different formats the print prepare send publish and close and we will uh, anyways we are going to see all these different items on each task i mean each sub option that are available so we will discuss in more detail about these as well and next we discussed about the ribbon so this is the ribbon area where you can see so within this ribbon you can see the home button uh, home tab and the uh, insert page layout reference mailings review a view and developer option as well so once you click on home so you can see all different tools that are available here like if you want to format any text related to text formatting you can use this font area and if it is something related to the paragraph you can use these different options and if, if this is this is something related to the styles so where you can format your content data and uh, you can change the slides, uh, slides accordingly if you there is also tools called as editing uh, that is that means you can find or replace or some text and you can select some objects and so on so this is about the home and then insert if you want to insert any shapes tables and if you want to illustrate something and if you want to copy any links you can link it and if you want to have some bookmark cross references header footer page numbers uh, text box the word or this is all related to the text formatting if you want to insert an object you can insert the object here if you want to add a signature line or date and time you can add this and uh, you can add the symbols as well there are very symbols and you can see the cover page blank page the page breaks and everything so whatever the option you see right this is related to the pages this is related to the tables illustrations the links if you want to give any links header and footer text and symbols and uh, moving to the next tab that is page layout you can see uh, how the page you want to see you can have a select the theme of your page so if you click here and if you select any anything so you can select the theme of that particular page and uh, and uh, you can add the colors to that particular theme okay and uh, what orientation this is all about the page setup this is something we are working to the page so how the page should be what are the margin size or margin length it should be what could be the orientation what is the size number of columns breaks you want to add any line numbers you wanted to add so all this uh, comes into the page layout then if you want to add any watermark you can add a watermark like this is confidential do not copy uh, like this information you can add to your document so you can see uh, if I simply add the watermark you can see that is confidential it says and the next comes to the page background if you want to add any page uh, within the page background you can add a color so if you want to add any color so just simply you can add this color uh, this and you can change this colors as well and the page borders if you want to add any page borders to this yes you can add it so you can see the page borders has been successfully applied and then indent so zero left indentation this is all related to the paragraph and the spacing how much spacing you want to add into the document zero points and everything and this is something uh, arrange so when you, if you have an object if you want to reshape that object then you can use this arrange option within the page layout then talking about the references references means if you have prepared some document uh, where uh, you want you have the table of contents if you wanted to add the table of contents to the particular topic uh, let's take an uh, if you are uh, you're trying to prepare some functional specification document or business requirement documents so then you can use a table of contents of this and you can add updates and uh, if you want to add some footer notes you can add some footnotes here 
and uh, citations and bibliography if you want to add this you can add this and if you want to add any captions you can add this uh, if you want to add any indexes and uh, table of authorities you can make references within the references you can do that and talking about the mailing so as I discussed so we can create a labels we can create an envelopes and you can uh, there is a concept called mail merging the same letter template uh, will be used for if you want to send any Christmas greetings to anyone to your family members friends and everything so the greeting message will be same but the addresses will be different or the names will be different so at that time we can use a concept of mail merging and labeling so that will be really helpful at that time and uh, then talking about the then moving on to the next tab that is review so review is nothing but you have done with uh, your document preparation and you wanted to check the spelling mistakes or the grammar mistakes so then you can use this so here is a concept called proofing you can see spelling and grammars, translates, treasures and research and if you want to add any comments to the specific section you can add it and if you want to track something yes you can track the changes you can add some balloon symbols and you can show markup and review pane then this is something is a changes okay and uh, then you can compare if you want to compare anything uh, you have prepared a document and if you wanted to compare with anything you can compare it and if you want to protect your document yes you can protect your document with the password then coming about the view so uh, if you want to view your document in a print layout there are different document views uh, print layout full screen web layout outline and draft and uh, this is something as document map so this is related related to show or hide if I hide this ruler you will not see this ruler so grid lines you can see the grid lines of this so this is just to this for the zooming purpose and if you want to view something very clearly so then you can use this option and then talking about the zooms if you want to zoom the document you can zoom this or you can use a shortcut here zoom slider that is also useful and if you want to view your into your two pages you can view it if you want to use a page width you can use it if you want to see only the one page you can see it in this way okay and uh, if you make it 100% it will be the fixed size and you can also split uh, split your document here and uh, so that you can compare this okay and you can remove the split as well so this is all about the windows and if you want to write any macros or if you want to run any macros so you can write we can automate something here so that that is what uh, they use so they can also developers uses this if they want to add some create some macros so we will talk about in detail when we move on further into the advanced topics of MS words so this is all about uh, and you can all see and you can also see the slider uh, I said like this is the vertical right if you want uh, the horizontal I have zoomed it to 300 per person that's the reason you can see a zoom uh, slider left and right and the up and down okay and uh, you can see the ruler so it's started with one inch two inch chosen the index in the in just format okay so this is how uh, this is all the different options that are available in the document and we will see in more details about all this thank you so much for watching this tutorials kindly please do subscribe to my channels for further more and more updates